Okay, so this is part two. So, the point of the video I was trying to make was that, um, my views are, are my views, I mean, they didn't necessarily change, but they're kind of repressed. And what I mean by that is, yeah, I still want to get to my goal weight, which is mostly a size 0 to 6, because it varies. I've seen people as big as 150 be a size 6, and, you know, you know the deal. So, it varies. So, it's just like, I guess I'm just not in a hurry anymore. It's like, I see why people, once they have the surgery, they may not make the videos as often because it was the anticipation before like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh damn now I got it oh okay you know and then you're just doing your own thing you know first your first countdown date is your surgery then yay you got it then for me my next countdown date is when I can actually have something different because I'm a person where it gets really hard having the same stuff you know the same same stuff period what has helped me with my chicken soups and now that it's almost done actually yeah, I have one package left but I'm glad that I'm still I was able to try out my sleeve and see that I'll be able to get down stuff that might be considered the next stage which is puree because like I said I'm and I feel confident in the fact that there's people that they're um you know that there's people out there that they're able to eat food earlier out you know I mean granted that's not my doctor's advice and um I'm not necessarily going based off that other person's doctor's advice but it makes me I at the end of the day I have to make my own decision and feel comfortable with it so it's like okay the puree stage starts this Thursday you know what I was going to do was order some injury but the time I get it would probably be Thursday so I have from today Saturday I have from today until technically Wednesday to be in this lighter kind of liquid stage you know but it's like I still have chicken soup that I made from from before surgery and I gotta smell that to make sure it's okay but and I don't really think there's any place I've checked my local store and they don't have like chicken like protein they don't have stuff like that so my own that's my only choice like I can get canned soup which is you know I can still do but it's pretty expensive it's like almost four dollars for a can of soup I'm just like what I mean I can buy some chicken and you know what I did was I cooked the chicken and I just put like what I did for my pre-op cooked the chicken and some of them I made I took some of the chicken and grinded it up so it was like really clear and one of them I just it was I think mainly just the water so I mean yeah it's just more economical for me to just to do that instead of buying more injury or I didn't I never bought the injury but instead of buying like more protein um powder um chicken anyway but definitely I'm going to get unflavored and some other stuff like I said in the last video so I mean but yeah but what I think I'm going to do too is I'm eventually going to buy something that's in my goal size I'm probably going to get like an extra large top um at least you know instead of a medium because I'll be looking at that extra large top get all dusty I'm going to put it on my wall I'm going to get a really cute shirt cute outfit whatever or I might just take some of my size 14 stuff you know what I'm saying just post it on my wall and look at it you know, and just be like, that's my goal, you know, to just get in there, don't get sidetracked, because like I said, I'm not going to be perfect, and I'm not going to be here for anybody to be like, oh no, you can't do that, and I'm just like, whatever, you know, um, 
But I know at the, at the end of the day, I'm going to reach my goal, whether it's, you know, not as fast as some, but I'm going to reach my goal. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm just, like, I was just, like, reading. It's going to be a while before I can really go bike riding, bike riding further. Like, the other day, I went bike riding to help with the gas. I know it's something that my doctor might not have wanted me to do. But I had to do what was best. I needed to try anything to get the gas out. Did it. I didn't fart after. So, just like, I don't really know. But, um, who knows? Every day is supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to get better. But honestly, I think the exercises that I did helped the most. But, uh, because I'm reading that, you're not really supposed to do anything serious for 90 days is when you officially you can do like some some harder stuff I think you can do light stuff now but I think you, at the same time you're supposed to wait for your surgeon to clear you but you know when the going home packet from the hospital it says you you know you can do your regular stuff just like in moderation or nothing too like crazy like doing some like on a Schwarzenegger type regime you know so, I mean, that's just basically it. This video was just to pretty much say that, um, I've just, like, now that I'm my surgery, I'm just focused, like I said, focused and focused and on just being comfortable. And, um, so definitely to any pre operators definitely get your gas strips and definitely talk to your doctor about is it okay to take them. Because I've heard some people say, their doctor didn't, well this one person said her doctor didn't want her to take um, any gas solvers, but my my um my doctor's assistant said to, I can so, it's just so crazy how like, one person you know, one doctor may say no, but gas pains I have have and had man strong crippling where you have to like slow down, you might you have to stop walking, stop doing what you're doing, and the gas pants for me like it travel like I I'll feel like depending if I'm lying down or what I'm doing I'll feel it go lower, like if it's lower it's no problem because I feel it's about to to exit, but I would have it like right under my like in my chest area where it's like couldn't really walk comfortably I could, I was just wasn't comfortable it had me kind of like hunchback on Notre Dame it was strange but that's basically it so I think I'll officially start weighing I'll officially probably start on Tuesday and um I think I'll do some walking oh I'm on some gas right now I gotta go eat I'll do some walking and uh oof my tummy Mm. Yeah, so what I think I'll do is every two weeks or every three weeks. I'll go with the flow, but I will make sure that I'll always have the numbers for each week. And that's basically it. So if there's any questions, please let me know. Um, inbox me or whatever. And anyone on Facebook I'm on there but what I'm going to start doing because I'm not even sure because I know sometimes people Facebook you and they don't they just find you somehow like because the Facebook I made for my vertical sleevers it's pretty much open and not many restrictions actually no it is a private uh, account but I just want to make sure that everyone that's on there is pre-op or post-op, like, I don't want somebody who just saw me and was like, oh, okay, she's cute, like, this guy just, like, messaged me out of nowhere, has no relation, I think, he found me through the college that I used to attend, and I'm like, dude, like, I don't know you, so, so I'm, I'm going to start having people, once, if you're going to send me a request, please message me to be like, oh, you know, I'm from da da da, -da. my name is da da da, so I have an idea, you know? So that's what I'm going to start doing, because I just don't like, because it's like, people request me, but then I see that they're not talking anything sleeve related, so I'm just like, who are you now, you know, so, anyway, 
sorry to make this video so super long, but I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.